teenage brain during puberty explained. Being a teenager is hard, especially when rapid and confusing changes wreak havoc on the teenage body and brain. 20 years ago, science assumed that all the volatile emotions that came with puberty were due to brand new hormones racing through the body. Today, however, we know that the teenage brain undergoes massive neurological changes during puberty. With a better understanding of what's happening in our teen's brain and how it affects behavior, we can better navigate and support our children through adolescence. But before we explain the mysteries of the teenage brain, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, you're welcome to join by clicking that subscribe button on the bottom right-hand corner below. Now let's have a look at what happens in the tween and teen brain. Teenagers get a bad rap. They're all too often perceived as moody, volatile, ticking time bombs. But there are good reasons as to why they react and appear this way. Many believe that hormones are the culprit for wild behavior and emotional outbursts. But the fact is, there's a lot more going on than we originally assumed. The tween brain is like an extremely absorbent sponge, dedicated to learning absolutely everything it can about the world they live in and the people in it. Their brains rapidly develop on a cellular level, making connections with neurons called synapses as their brain forms, learns, and develops. Between the ages of 11 and 17, the teenage brain undergoes a phenomenon during sleep that's integral to their maturation. In a process called synaptic pruning, the frontal cortex decides which neural connections to keep and which to discard. Think of it like spring cleaning for the mind. Those often use connections, like their crush's phone number and cheat codes for their favorite video game are retained, while inconsequential memories, like remembering to make their beds, can fade into obscurity. This happens through myelination, a process where a specific neural connection in the brain is coated with an electrically conductive fatty substance called myelin. Myelin allows faster recall and better access to memory. Scientists believe that this is the reason why teens naturally understand, learn, and adapt to new technologies and information with relative ease. Teens and parents should take advantage of this critical window of neuroplasticity by encouraging and supporting your teen's interests. If your teen wants to learn an instrument, new sport, or language, for instance, we should encourage further development of their strengths and passions during this pruning phase. Alongside these changes, you may also identify your tween and teen engaging in risky and dangerous activities, which may lead you to believe that your child is becoming defiant, reckless, or irresponsible. This is due to the pruning of the prefrontal cortex, which is the part of the brain that's responsible for risk assessment and planning. While the prefrontal cortex is under renovation, the teen's brain ability to analyze risk, dangers, and consequences appropriately is underdeveloped and limits their ability to stop themselves from acting on their risky impulses. Instead of trying to control your teen, you can encourage them to take positive risks. Examples of positive risks include giving your child the freedom to walk or catch the bus home from school, or go to a party unchaperoned with friends. Doing so will allow teens to learn consequence, assert independence, develop their identity, problem solve, and grow insight. Positive risks and experiences are critical for healthy development. Next on the list, and personally my favorite and biggest challenge, are moodiness and emotional outbursts. There are a multitude of hormones that the brain produces and releases during puberty, all of which contribute to the healthy functioning and regulation of the body. One of these hormones is called allopregnolone, which is released into the bloodstream to help us calm down when we experience stress. Scientists have found that this hormone has the opposite effect on teens during puberty. Instead of its intended calming effect, the hormone induces heightened levels of anxiety. This means that even low-level stress can render your teenager overwhelmed, anxious, panicked, or depressed. As part of this process, teen brains are learning to identify and differentiate complex emotions and facial expressions. This can often result in teens misinterpreting your face, thoughts, and emotions, causing them to lash out and have an emotional outburst. Again, this isn't personal. They're just trying to process and develop these critical interpersonal skills, and we need to understand that they aren't going to necessarily interpret things the way you intend to. We should aim to approach adolescents armed with knowledge of the changes occurring in a teen's developing brains and bodies, and how those changes are displayed in common teen behavior. This will help us to practice compassion, patience, and kindness, and better equip parents to support their teen during these emotionally charged, turbulent times. If you've enjoyed this video or learned something new, please give us a like and let us know in the comments if you've had any success deciphering the teenage mind. 
If you know any parents that would benefit from this video, please share and click that subscribe button below to stay notified when our regular parenting videos are uploaded. See you next time.